Which girl are you? Frank, do you know me? Fanny? What are you doing here? You said I was to come. Well, I said you might. So one day you found me. You didn't walk all the way from Weatherbury, did you? Can you come to me? Uh, the people have sounded fine. I'm as good as in jail till the morning. When will it be, Frank? What? Please, Frank, don't force me to say what ought to be said by you. Well, never mind. Say it. When will we be married? Oh, really, Fan, you come in like this? It's all so sudden. You think me forward. Don't, Frank. I love you and you told me so many times we would be married and... Don't cry. If I said we will, we will. Will you come to me tomorrow? I'm at Mrs. Twill's in North Street. I don't like to come to the barracks. There are bad women about. I'll come tomorrow. Good night, Van. Good night, Frank. Good night. Come here. You know you're my sweetheart. Am I? I have no other. Mm. Mm. When, you, when you said we would be married, did you mean it? Of course I did. I know I'm not. I just want you to be sure in your mind. Well, if you're having second thoughts... Well, don't be foolish, Frank. You know I love you. With all my heart. I do want to marry you. I do. Which will it be, church or chapel? Oh, Frank. Mm. I'm so happy. Sergeant Troy? Yes. Have you witnesses? No. It'll be tomorrow. You fool. But it was a mistake. Will it be tomorrow, Frank? Damn you. I won't go through that again in a hurry. But, Frank, when will it be? God knows. 
She said you'd not got wed and she left. Sorry, what? Did she say where she was going? Well, she'd no money, so I don't know what she intended. Thank you. for your leave then, Troy. When are in the town? I'm going back to Weatherbury to help with the haymaking. <laughs> haymaking? It's a bit of a lonely occupation for a nobleman. And what would you know about nobility, Dobbs? Something I do every year. So, it's in the country then. Give it a rest, Dobbs. There's a good fellow. Not that pretty piece left you standing at the altar. You're not still thinking about her. Evening. Sorry, mate, we got hitched together somehow. Eh? <sighs> Didn't have you free. I'm sorry, I... I'll fasten you in a moment. No, I, I can do it. You're caught fast. Here, let me. Thank you for the sight of such a beautiful face. Unwillingly shown. I like you the better for that rudeness. I must tear your dress if you're in such a hurry. Then please do so and be on your way. Look at this tangle. You're making it worse on purpose. I'm not. I tell you, you are. I'll do it myself. I've seen a good many women in my time. But I've never seen one as beautiful as you are. Be offended if you like. I don't care. Done. Sergeant Troy. I wish... it had been the knot of knots. Wish there's no one tying. Good night. Beauty. Morning, Sergeant. Morning, Hawk. Morning, Sergeant. Welcome back, Sergeant. Beautiful morning. Makes me glad to be alive. Didn't think we'd see you this year. I hear your good wife's retired again since I last saw you. My wife's doings an open cern of yours, Sergeant. <laughs> really, Coggan? Time I told you to tie a good reef or not. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Sergeant Troy. Morning, Morning Sergeant Troy. Is Fanny Robin not working at the haymaking this year? She ran away after a soldier. They say her sweetheart's in the Dragoon Guard. Do you know him? I know the young man as well as I know myself. There's not a man in the regiment I like better. He's in the same regiment as you. Who is that woman? That's the new mistress, Miss Everdeen. I've been here for a minute, she's at the Bailey. I think she can do everything herself. What's his name? Fanny Sweetheart. Ah, no, this I cannot tell. There is a code of honour among soldiers, you know. <laughs> Miss Everdeen, good day to you. I had no idea it was you I was talking to the other night. I fear I spoke out of turn. Here you did. What are you doing in my fields? Well, I've helped your uncle with the haymaking since I was a lad. I hope you don't mind me doing the same for you. I'm not sure. Oh, I see you're still angry with me because I took the terrible liberty of telling you you're beautiful. I don't allow strangers to be bold and impudent. I take it back. You are an utterly ordinary and unremarkable woman. How's that? You could have passed me by and said nothing. I'm sure I have the pleasure in feeling something is to express it then and there. I'd have done the same if you were ugly. And how long have you suffered from this affliction? Ever since I was big enough to know loveliness from deformity.
Miss Everdeen, you do forgive me. Hardly. I said you're beautiful and I say so again. The most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Uh, I can't stand here talking all day. I have a horse dealer coming at ten. What time is it now? We have no watch. No. Here, take mine. A gift. I, I can't possibly take this. Don't be such a fool. It was my father's. Take it, Miss Everdeen. I want you to have it. Please, take it back. I, I don't even know you. Why would you give me your father's watch? Please. My work folk are watching me follow you about the field. Miss Everdeen. Good day to you. You're not attempting the bees alone, are you? Have you no one to help you? No, they're, they're all finishing off the haymaking. Oh. I'll get them in for you. Thank you. Have the veil and gloves, and you'll be horribly stung. Ah, yes, the veil and gloves. You'd better have the hat too. The hat too, by all means. It's still warm from your head. Oh, you better fix that for me. I'm no good at these things. Gratitude, if you please, Miss Everdeen. <laughs> you look ridiculous. Holding this high up makes one's arm ache worse than a week of sword exercise. Have you ever seen it? No. Help me out of this, I'm stifled. I shall do it for you. I do it very well. Now? Well, I don't have a sword now, but... I could get one by this evening. Will you meet me? In Blackridge Hollow? Uh, I'd have to bring Liddy with me. I don't see why. Well, I, I can't meet you on my own. You go to heavens, there's only to watch a sword exercise. You don't want to think I was inviting you to some kind of debauchery. You're two feet away from me. And stand still. If you're frightened, I can't perform. I'm not frightened. Is the sword very sharp? Not at all. Now then, are you ready? <laughs> Still as a statue.
astonishing. Wait. Your hair has come loose. How did you do that? Blunt sword. This sword is as sharp as a razor. It'd slice a man in two. I've been within an inch of my life. Well, precisely, you have been within an inch of your life 195 times. I never make mistakes. May I keep this? Meet me at the foot of the hill on Sunday evening. I can't. Okay. I didn't intend to, but... When Mr Oak might have come upon you, I met him on the path. You know what does Oak to do with me? I fear no Oak. <laughs> Nor any other man. Let's walk a while. Just for a moment. God, you are beautiful. <laughs> Bathsheba, I must go away for a short time. That's only to bath. Don't look so anxious. No, it's not. I have other things on my mind. I can't explain. Come now. Give me a happy face before I go. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't help myself. And neither, I think, could you. see my dilemma. I can't marry both of them. No, I, I'd rather marry Fanny because I like her best on the whole. And of course, you make it worth my while. I won't thank you for it! Marry Bathsheba. I give her up. She must love you indeed. Oh, but I thought you were concerned for fun. Mary Beth, she might try. Don't desert her. I'll pay you 500 pounds on your wedding day. And am I to have anything now? I... Look, I have 20 pounds here. And I must be certain you will marry her. You must sign a paper. I'll go straight to her parlour and I'll sign. No, she was no nothing of this. Come to my house. She's waiting for me. Wait there. I'll get paper. Do you think I would break it? You are a ridiculous man, Baldwood. I'm no angel, but I don't buy and sell women. Married. Fanny left me long ago. I don't even know where she is. You say you love Bathsheba. Yet on the merest evidence, you believe her to be little more than a whore. There. 
Now that I've taught you a lesson, you can take your money back. I will not. I will not. I will punish you, Troy. I will punish you yet. <laughs> 